Welcome back to Angel of Beauty. Today we're going to be showing you how to get this beautiful Easter hairstyle. It's super cool and super nice. Exactly how to do this? Keep watching. Excellent. Excellent. That was Till the very end. <laughs> okay, so we have our beautiful hair model, Kristen. <laughs> and to start off, any hairstyle you want to make sure on under the hair, just to make sure there's no nuts or tangles. As you can see, I will be fast forwarding parts of the video, just so it won't be too long. Now, what you want to do is create a side part whether it's to the left or right. In this case, we went to the right side. Now that the hair is nice and neat, we simply want to put it in a one. And in this case, the higher the one, the better. So you want to put the hair in a high one and simply because the nest must be resting on top of the head. If you know what video Kristen is currently watching, comment below and I will definitely heart your comment. <laughs> so there are actually two ways to do this part, meaning that you can just put it in a high one at this point after doing the side part. Or you can actually create a braid to the side which would make it look a lot cuter in my opinion and even make putting it in the high one easier. It's not that this way is harder to put it in the high one, but it's just that the side part, if you're a neat freak, then the side part might give you a little bit of trouble when putting it in the high one in regards to getting neater. But yes, for this version, once it's in the high one, you just want to section off the hair into big and small sections, having the big sections in the middle. Once the hair is sectioned off, you just want to twist it, what we in Trinidad call corkscrew. <laughs> so yeah, you just want to twist each section of hair. Now that we're finished twisting the larger and smaller sections of hair, we'll just show you the second version with the side braid, what we in Trinidad like to call plait, so the side plait. But yeah, we'll show you the second version with the side braid. So what you want to do is simply create another part from the end of the side part going downward to simply square off a section of hair that you want to braid. So now what you want to do obviously <laughs> is to braid that section of hair. And as you probably already noticed, these are not my hands. These are actually mommy's hands. And yeah, mommy's just braiding Kristen's hair. And I'm doing the videotaping and the narrating and all of that. So yeah, once you finish braiding that section of hair, you just want to secure the end and then move on to the rest of the hair. And as I mentioned before, you just want to get the high one as high as possible so the bird nest could be on top of the head. <laughs> and to style it up a bit, you can simply put some loose pieces out to the side, comb it down to the back, and we also loosen the back a bit. You can skip this step if you like the tight look. And if you don't want to fancy it up a bit, you can basically do what you like. And as we did before, we're just dividing the hair into sections. Here we are just dividing it into four sections, two smaller sections on either side, and two larger sections in the middle. And then we're just twisting each section of hair. Secure in each section with a small rubber band. So 
dealing with the two larger twists we're taking the left side and twisting it around the top of the head towards the right side if there are any flyaways like there are here or any strands left out simply twist it around with one of the twists and continue as normal so once you twist the left over to the right creating a circle going around the other twists you just bobby pin it in place as you see here and now we're just mirroring the other side by taking the right twist and twisting it around to the left side going around the smaller twist and once again you just bobby pin that in place until it's nice and secure Now moving on to the smaller twists, we're actually crossing them over each other at the back and going around just as we did with the larger twists and then we're crossing them over each other in the front and back around to the back and we're just bobby pinning them in place. Kristen does have long hair so your hair may not reach all the way back around or may not even twist at the front but that's okay once you do the basic idea and then just bobby pin them in place it will work perfectly once you have that circular nest like motion going on at the top there and yeah now you have a nice little cuddly section in there for the eggs and baby chicks and bunnies and whatever you want to put in nest. in this case easter eggs now for the last braid that we did to the side of the head you just want to cross it over at the front and around that cute little mess we just made at the top of the head and just bobby pin that in place as usual and now is when you can do any last minute touch ups and fix up any flyaways or anything that you want to but I wouldn't worry about this too much because it is a nest that if you watch any nest in real life they're never too neat they're just cute and messy and yeah so you don't have to worry too much about neatening it up and getting it perfect it will look good no matter what but mommy is a bit of a perfectionist so you know she wants to neaten up but knowing that it is a nest it doesn't have to be too perfect and look how cute that looks it looks so great like with all the eggs and stuff this can be a normal kind of formal hairstyle because i actually do like it a lot it looks great but once you add like the eggs and stuff it just easts it up and that's when you realize oh it's a nest Isn't she just so adorable? <laughs> now it's time to add Easter eggs! <laughs> now you need some small Easter eggs and the amount will depend on the size of the nest you created and the look you're going for. Now my eggs came with one hole in it and I needed two holes because on the spot I came up with this brilliant idea to actually poke some bobby pins through the eggs to make it more secure to the hair. Now you can just get something to bore a hole in your egg and it just so happened, such an amazing coincidence that this was on the dresser next to the bobby pins when I was getting them and this worked perfectly in boring the holes all I did was pick the spot on the egg which is next to the other hole that was already there below the egg and I just press and twist until I get that first little piercing through the egg and then I continue to screw it in as you would usually screw the screw <laughs> 
So if you have a screw or a tiny drill or whatever you decide to use but this just was so easy for me to bore a hole. So when I screwed it in I just gave it a little pull and then unscrew it and then it left the perfect hole for my bobby pin. And then I just repeated with the other egg. Perfect! So now that you have your two holes in the eggs, all you have to do to put the bobby pin in is to open the egg and to place each side of the bottom of the bobby pin through the hole and press it down all the way through and just close the egg and then it will be perfect and ready to pin to the hair. So we have our first egg in and now to repeat that exact same process with all the other eggs and just place them into the hair all in the nest. Beautiful. And the look is complete and it looks so cute and Easter themed and Kristen makes it even cuter because she is so adorable. You can go back and change up anything you'd like. I wanted to change up the colors as you see here. I did not want too much similar colors next to each other. But I really really love how it came out in the end. I just love it. watching the video guys I hope you had lots of fun as I did so as always be sure to leave a big thumbs up comment if you liked it don't forget to subscribe ring the notification bell <laughs> au revoir au revoir and guys if you want to add some extra fluff to the nest and make it look even more nest like you can just pull on the braids to make the braids wider and more fluffy and it cuddles the eggs like a real nest. We're gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful hairstyle I have on my head right now. <laughs> and you need to get like these eggs to do it and like wrap it on something. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, just repeat after me. This so 
you just like them now today we're going to show you how to get this beautiful cute easter hairstyle and you'll just show them around a little bit do a little turn so they could see your hair right we have to do it again no she already flimmed that oh good so thing. it's just so you see <laughs> you're just saying this part now come forward and show them a little bit look to there yeah look that side back the next side and bend down oh not so much <laughs> yeah out of the screen <laughs> 